In this PowerPoint 2016 presentation, we're going to go back to the Insert tab and briefly touch on the Store and Add-ins. Now, add-ins are not like a plugin specifically. They're a lot more like a Windows 10 app that you simply include within PowerPoint or any other of the Office 2016 applications. So when we go to the store, we can see all of the different add-ins that people have made, and we can select one to include in our uh, PowerPoint 2016 presentation. Some will appear on the screen as an object, almost like including a website or an app straight onto your PowerPoint slide. And some of the other ones will have a new pane pop out here with some extra functionality that you can use in EG presentations. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and find the stock tile uh, add-in so that we can display stock market information right inside of our slide. Now this is just for an example, you may or may not actually want to use this add-in or any of the other add-ins, it's completely optional. And what add-ins are available depends entirely on what people decide to create as time goes forward. So in this case, we have this miniature little app or add-in, and we're going to look up a stock so that we can display the information here. So let's go ahead and use Google. I believe G-O-O-G -G st uh, stands for Google within the stock market anyway. Only makes sense. So here we can see that it is at a $335.98 share price and that it is up 84 cents. Now we can take this and we can move the object containing this add-in to basically any other slide we have. So if we go ahead and create a new slide, we can add this in as a little add-in that we can have over here on the right. Now there are many different types of add-ins and it would take forever to cover all of them. And just know, if you wanna get some extra functionality, you can go ahead and check the add-in store back on the insert tab. Not every single one is free. These are independent developers in most cases that are actually going ahead and creating these add-ins. So some of the people may actually be doing this for a living. It kind of depends. I imagine a lot of them are just kind of uh, independent for fun mini projects to hone their skills, but you get the idea. Add-ins, you can use it to basically add in extra functionality to PowerPoint 2016 or other Office 2016 applications. So that's all for this brief video on add-ins and the Microsoft Store for PowerPoint 2016. Until the next video, I will see you then.